and welcome to this month's editorial video where we're talking all about biometrics and how this type of technology may begin to take a more prevalent position in the hotel industry, especially given now we're living in a COVID-19 world. Biometrics are biological measurements of physical characteristics that can be used to identify individuals. Things like fingerprint mapping, facial recognition, and retinal or iris scanning are all forms of biometric technology. But these are just the most well-known ones. Most people, even the end users who are not directly associated with biometric technology in any way, know it to be a technology that makes use of fingerprints, face, voice, or eyes to recognize an individual. The level of familiarity with biometrics has improved recently due to the rise of biometric recognition on things like mobile devices. Biometric recognition, however, is not limited only to the most common known methods. There are other various biometric methods that we generally don't hear much about, such as the pattern formed by a person's lips when talking, the shape of their ear, a person's gait, and even their thermography. A perhaps unconventional way of experimenting with biometrics was when a core in 2018 conducted a project they called Project Seeker. This was a biometric data-driven experience aimed to anticipate travelers' affinities and then match them with the ideal core hotel and destination. Through the capture of biometric data, Project Seeker measured emotional responses to the visceral stimuli and that helped uncover affinities and personality traits that one may not know even existed, and in turn would suggest an Accor destination that would best suit the person and the experience that they're interested in. I'll link this video below so that you can watch it again in your own time. It's quite interesting. In many ways, the hotel industry is still considering how to best apply biometrics for everyday use for both guests and staff, whilst also respecting the privacy needs of the users. And with COVID-19 expediting the industry to consider more contactless options within a hotel, a form of biometric solution that supports facial recognition or retina scanning could be of something of great interest. At the current time, there really isn't a lot of information readily available to hoteliers and hotel owners on how best to procure, install, and even comply with in-country legislation when it comes to the use of biometrics in our industry. So there is a real opportunity perhaps for existing technology companies or even new companies to enter this space and take the lead on the topic. Looking at how the technology has been adopted in a guest facing element, you can also see a handful of brands who have taken this initiative to experiment with biometrics. Marriott International recently started a collaboration in China with Alibaba to have self-check-in experiences using kiosks in some of their selected hotels. Using biometric facial recognition, the kiosks then check the guest in and present them with a room key via the automatic terminal. I assume they also support the option for the guest to use their mobile as the key if they prefer, so as they don't have to have the key card provided to them from the kiosk. If this was not available on release of the product, I would expect that it would be upgraded to support mobile keys as well due to COVID-19. And especially that Marriott is focusing very heavily on adopting the mobile key solution. Biometric data, just like any other data that a hotel has on guests and employees, needs to be protected. Consent, of course, must be given by any person the hotel is expecting to be processed via biometrics, and encryption is also important. Biometric technology is merely another channel that enables a hotel to provide safe and enjoyable experiences for their guests. And ultimately, as the deployer of that technology, it's also their job to do this in a responsible way. Biometric technology could actually enhance customer and employee security, as well as the protection of their data. Here are three immediate ways that biometrics could potentially be applied to hotels. We discussed earlier how Marriott is testing facial recognition in China with self-surf kiosks. This was all done prior to COVID-19, but it is probably quite safe to say that this is going to be more widespread, especially now the contactless options are probably going to become more sought after. 
A few years ago, Oracle conducted a survey that showed 41% of hotel guests were more likely to visit with greater frequency if they were recognised by an employee without having to give their name. And 62% of hotel guests believe that having this recognition would improve their overall guest experience. The use of biometric data can help to announce guests, their information and their preferences without them having to provide any additional information. For example, an arriving guest can scan their fingerprint at the front desk, whereupon the hotel would then immediately have access to that person's information, the reservation, or any room or service preferences that they may have. And of course, this all helps to truly personalize the overall guest experience. Biometrics aren't just used to enhance the guest experience. They can also help create in-house efficiencies as well. For example, a biometrics-based system to track when employees clock in and out to help manage time tracking, attendance, as well as payroll. We're still in the early days of using biometric data for the hospitality industry, but already there are some tangible ways that it can help to improve traditional processes and create efficiencies to help enhance the guest experience. And as society generally becomes more comfortable with the use of biometrics in everyday life, like using our fingerprints or faces to unlock our mobile devices, I think sooner rather than later, people will probably expect the same ease of identity verification for a ranging number of services and experiences, that including of course travel. Thanks for watching and thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, make sure you download our app, which is available in the iStore and the Google Store for access to the latest content as and when we release it. Until next time, it's bye for now.